What's going on guys, Chris Rennick here, and here's the moment I've been dreading. I can't even see Tommy GTR, yay! So, right now we're on our way home. I'm stoked, we got a video for you guys. Me and Mike, we worked pretty hard to make sure we had a video while on the road because traveling for YouTubers, it's kind of like the hardest thing to do just because we want to keep you guys entertained and all that, and sometimes road trips just aren't the answer. I can't fucking see, it's hard. But anyways, we're gonna go to Ajuku right now. I wanna look at a couple parts they have for this, buy some stuff so when we get to my shop, we can instantly start working on this thing. I already got a set of coilovers lined up. Oh my God, I can't see anything. Look at this. Can you see anything on that camera? I can, no. It's terrible. Yeah, it's the real boy drift car. Well, I mean, you can tune for no lag by like doing nitrous shots. Right. Yeah, that's what we do. Oh, really? Um, like any, but pretty much that's the one. Yeah. Yeah, the whole thing's sick. You can like do all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Rodnick, what'd you get? I got the um, I got a short hub for the Skyline because I want to put the personal wheel in it. I don't really want to keep the stock wheel in. I'm a butt hurt, so I'm gonna do. What are you doing? Well, you didn't give me some salsa. You had all your salsa. It's right here. How'd this happen? Finish your water. And you can have all that salsa. This kid's disgusting. Because I like the salsa, so I'm taking a couple of sips of it. There's no so he was drinking it out of the bowl. You just can't go anywhere with you. And then, so I was drinking it, minding my own business, and he decides to dump the rest of it in my drink. <laughs> Makes sense. I think it does. He was drinking it, so I put it in a drink so you can drink it better. He, and I take it, he took I a sip out of it. That's disgusting. <laughs> He's being such an asshole. Merging lanes fucking every two seconds trying to make me stuck. Look at this guy. Look at him. I'm gonna use his word. Cuck! So it's the next day, um, it is currently Friday at 8.24 and my license plate fell off. I have no registration in the car, I don't know where that went, so I have absolutely nothing. I had HP Logic um, actually email me a copy of the plate, email me a copy of the registration. So we're going to see how many times we get pulled over today because if a cop sees us, he's going to think it's not registered. So fuck me. Pulled over. What the fuck is going on, dude? I I don't got a seatbelt on. Fuck. We're getting pulled over. We're probably getting pulled over here. Got no plate on this thing. How are we not? What is going on here? What the fuck? I don't got a plate on this thing. Dude, I just looked behind me. I'm like... <laughs> Oh my god, my phone. I look behind me, I'm like, oh shit, there's like, ha <laughs> Oh my god, my heart dropped. Well, one down, I guess. I can, can you believe we didn't just get pulled over right no, there? No, I can't believe it at all. Just made it to the shop, it is now 11 o'clock, I think. Um, Skyline made it, his um, GTR made it, and I'm actually... Did everyone's car make it? Everyone's car made it, didn't, didn't we just hear that? We just heard that. <laughs> but My sunglasses didn't make it. I, I gotta go home with Tommy because I gotta steal his truck. Because tomorrow morning, which is probably gonna be the same video, I need to go over to the junkyard. I need to pick up the motor because I just wanna get right in to start working on the Forester. You're an I'll, animal. I'm an animal, dude. I don't stop. You're an animal, guy. <laughs> and I really, really wanna get that running this weekend. And I'm not promising you that, but I'm gonna shoot for it. So hopefully we can get that. I'm going home. I forgot to add this. I made it all the way from Florida without any play on my car. <laughs> it must have flew off in uh, the, fir the first the first yeah, the first gas station. The first? I think no, it was no, either no. the first or second. The second we cuz I still in Florida when it blew off. Yeah, we were yeah. in Florida, but like we noticed in Georgia. Dude. <laughs> you know what else he did though? If the MTA is looking for anyone, he went through all the tolls, the easy pass without a plate. So. That's that's probably getting cut. No, leave it in. They don't care. What do they you mean they don't care? It. 
Wait, for all they know, you took the plate off here. This video is for entertainment purposes only. It's been um, edited for your entertainment and in no way represents real reality. I did not go through one toll on this video, so. Except for the six. I did not go through one toll on this video, entertainment he purposes didn't go through only. Six. He didn't go through one, um, he went through six. Please don't do that. And my paper plate fell off my car. Thank you. Paper plate. So I was supposed to get the motor for the Forester today. Sadly, I kind of woke up too late. Torian was only able to meet me from, um, like eight in the morning to like 11 and I didn't wake up for that because I drove 13 hours, I was just shot so I kind of slept a little late and today is Saturday, they're not open on Sunday so I need to wait till Monday. But don't worry, I already got the next two days planned. Um, I ended up buying the coilovers off of Grant's car which he sold to Tony and then Tony sold them to me. So I got the Fortunato coilovers, we're gonna be putting those in tonight and Marcus and, me, Marcus and I, we need to go to Home Depot my favorite store and we're gonna um plywood all up there so we can use that place as like a hundred percent storage so over here everything's gonna be cleared out i'm gonna get a desk for mike and then we're gonna put a computer back here so he has like his little editing corner right there it's gonna look nice maybe we'll even put a carpet probably not we're not too legit but what are you thinking of this i think you'll put a carpet you're pretty legit right no. now. i'm legit i'm racer legit let's go to home depot all right my favorite store Right when I get back to Connecticut, first store I walk into is Home Depot. <laughs> Gotta get my application in ASAP. So we got five pieces of plywood here. We're literally just gonna place them up there so I can make my Mike a little nice studio in the back. And then he doesn't have to worry about it. Do I get a discount for filming? I'm moving out of the way. Oh, <laughs> oh man. So, um, I accidentally just... Fuck Chris, he just nailed me in the dome piece. <laughs> he asked for a piece of cardboard, and I gave him like a big piece of cardboard, I couldn't even see him. Flung it up there like a frisbee, and it literally just clotheslined him. I really didn't mean to, I'm sorry dude. I'm sorry Marcus, I never meant to hurt you. While Marcus is up there, I'm gonna start taking these off. Um, I can probably do this coilover job in like under 45 minutes, it's super easy. Two bolts up there, one down there, two, one, same in the back, so should be good. Going up. Wheels off, now. So, all the wheels are off, and now I'm just gonna t go around and take these four bolts out right here, one on each side, and then I'm just gonna pop these all out, put the Fortunatos in. I don't think I've ever done anything easier in my life. Marcus hasn't even gotten like a full plywood, one piece of plywood cut, and all these four are out. All right, all right. Right now. So, those are all out. Now I'm just gonna go around and put the coilovers in and I guess I'm done. Oh, 25, maybe 30 minutes in, all of them are done. And now I'm gonna put the wheels on. I actually have, I've had um, four by 114 wheels on the side of my house for almost two years now. They're not the nicest wheels, not even two years, maybe like a year, but they're not the nicest wheels by any means. Um, I do plan on doing five lug swap, so I'm not just gonna go spend my money on four by 114 wheels when I want to do five look anyways so I'm just gonna try to fit well I I'm just gonna put those wheels on for now but I'm gonna show you what I want to put on for the time being so these are the wheels I'm talking about hey what'd you get called in the comments I got called a fucking hamburglar man I have no idea what that means but this is Sean I've known Sean since I don't know I was in since fifth grade huh if you guys want to see a hamburglar I will show you a hamburger let's, let's see the shuffle shuffle all right oh, wow. oh <laughs> But anyways, these are the wheels. These literally been sitting on the side of my house for like a year. They're so dirty. They've, they're kind of gross, but I think they kind of look good. Okay. I Like I said, I'm gonna do a five lug swap anyways, so it's not like it matters. They're not gonna stay on forever. But for the time being, I have to get new tires first because they're all like slashed and everything. Mm. So I'm gonna put the stock wheels on, see. I'm gonna take it around the block, see if it rubs, which is probably gonna, but we'll see. We're going down. Dude, this thing's gonna look mm. fucking low. Oh my god, dude, this thing's whoa! Holy this thing fuck. looks badass, huh? This thing is dumped. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need to fucking jack it up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I'm gonna go get my jack and we'll be right back. Oh shit, dude, all right, so. As you can see here, it's pretty low. I think it looks badass, but we're gonna go take it down the road, see if it rubs. I hired a carpenter! Marcus and Tyler are putting in some work up here. I'm about to go check it out. I like your boxers, dude. <laughs> Plaid. <laughs> All right. What? Well, I can't. I couldn't wait. Ooh, this looks good, dude. How much more room is there, dude? Oh, fuck. I got the camera in hand. Oh! Oh! Jesus Christ. <laughs> there is a lot of room up here. But what I want to do before I do four lug, if you see those Rikens right here, I want to, um... I want to get adapters for those right there. No, I'm just showing. I want to get adapters for those Rikens right there, and I want to put those on and just run like slammed pig for now. But it's not going to be slammed forever because we're going to be making a bit too much power, but can't really talk about that right now. We still have all of this to fit up there. <laughs> so much boxing. Like three more boxes, three, four more boxes, all of this shit. There is a lot. So I'm bringing Sean for the ride. He's my ultimate tester right now. Oh, dude, this thing is low. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. All right. Not bad so far. Oh. I think we didn't tighten those top bolts. On the front? Yeah. Yeah. I think they're a little loose because I heard it clap. Yeah. I was worried it was the back, but I know I double checked those. Yeah, you hear that? Yeah, that's the front. Because we tightened them when it was up in the air, so there, there was no pressure on yeah. it. Yeah. Was that Rob right there? No, that's because the fucking the struts on the front aren't tightened all the way. So whenever we go over a pump, it's gonna. Dude, this thing's front. riding pretty good right now. Yeah, we just gotta tighten those front struts. Oops, put the blanket around. This is sick, dude. We're fucking slammed. We got Sean in the passenger seat, the ultimate weight tester. I am oh, yeah. stoked. This is this is riding good. I'm so excited. So putting in gas right now. So I put 93 in this car because in Japan they have like a much higher like octane level and like America gas is kind of garbage. So I just put 93 in because 87 would actually be bad. And it's like not that much extra, but check this out. But no plate life. Woo! This thing looks like a fucking new car, dude. Wow. It looks so good. Like, usually with stock wheels, lowered cars look like junk, but this looks just amazing. I don't know why I like love this so much, but we gotta get rid of this front end. I got a plan for that, which you guys will soon know about, but this thing is fucking cherry. Just got back into the shop, and now I'm taking the stock steering wheel off. All I have to do is take this off. I got the energy hub yesterday from um, Injuku, so I'm gonna put this on, and I don't know if I'm gonna put my personal or Nardi wheel on. Look at this ricer. Stay for a while now. Just got the stock wheel off. It was actually kind of hard, but I managed to get it. So we're gonna line up this dot here. Seems to be straight right there. Oh, it's a little off right there. All right, dude. I'm so excited. Let me grab both wheels. So, oh wait. It's just not. So the door handles in the back of the car don't open from when he bought it. So we're inside the door trying to figure out how to get both of the rear doors to open. There's, it's just not. One's for the lock, one's for the handle. Yeah, this one works, but this one. Yeah, the inside one does. Not connected. I think it's this one right here. Or is it the child safety? No, I already tried that. Mm. So guys, as Chris is doing the steering wheel on this, I'm trying to fix all of his doors here. So inside, as you peel this away, let me grab my flashlight too. If you look up in here, there's another, there's like a little metal bar up in the back back there. I'll point that out if I can try to 
finagle this up in here. There's a metal bar like up in here. And there's another little white uh, spacer on it that was all worn out. So what I did was I spun that around so that as the door latch comes down, it presses on that and it opens up the door. So we're going to try to do all four of them to see if that you see if you can get all four open now. Marks is fixing the doors. I'm over here. So I bought a Nardi for the LS2. I'm kind of going to end up using it for the... Um, Skyline because it just put looks put so good. Japanese wheel in it. What? Put the Japanese wheel in it. I mean, e even Marcus no. told me to put the Nardi in it. But, the anyways, I wanted to use the horn button, but they didn't give me like that metal like ring clip for some reason. So I'm trying to make do with what I have because I don't want to see that ugly bolt. So what I did was I cut this out of the NRG like little box thing. So now it's like a little delete plate. So now you won't see that bolt. So I'm going to go ahead and bolt this in. This is only temporary. Don't worry. I just really didn't like to see the bolt. Rather to see this ugly thing. But I'm making do with what I have. Well, I ran into a little problem. I can't use the Nardi or I can't use the personal. But I can use a grip rail. So let me explain. Pretty good. Th this is the um, E36 short hub. It's the same exact thing as the Skyline one. It's just for an E36. So let me show you this. So for with the short hubs... You need to get a quick release or it doesn't line up with this bolt pattern right here. This vape's in the way. So if I try to line it up, and trust me, I've tried this for the past half an hour. And bo both hubs and everything. So I can get this one to line up, but none of the other ones line up. So I can't use this Nardi unless I get a quick release, which I'm obviously going to order two of them now because I didn't know this was a problem. I didn't really need think I needed a quick release but now I do but check out the grip royal here when I put the grip royal on lines right up with all the bolts which doesn't really make any sense I don't really get it Mark is behind trying to vape out the scene here but now I'm just gonna have to use the grip royal because I don't want to go back to a stock wheel because I don't know I'm a bot hurt so I'm gonna put this in see what it looks like this is what the grip royal looks like with my nice little delete plate here um, to be honest, I don't really like it. Uh, I'm going to order a quick release tonight so I can... Mark is always causing trouble. I'm going to order a quick release tonight. Always and fixing shit. Yeah, Mark has fixed all the doors. He's just got to... He's JB welding the other door panel because the clips broke off of it. So he's just fixing that. But... I'm going to order a quick release tonight so I can actually use my personal or Nardi. Let me know what you guys think. If you if I, if I you think I should run the N personal or you think I should run the Nardi. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards more the Nardi just because I like how deep it is. I like the personal because it has like a culture background. Like this was in Japan. This is like JDM as fuck. And that's why I want to put this in. But at the same time, the Nardi looks badass. So I don't know. But I'm pretty stoked. Skyline's coming along. Um... I'm probably going to get new tires for those wheels tomorrow because I just want to see what they look like on the car. And, yeah, I'll start recording when I know what I'm talking about. So right now we're attempting to make a bomb. You think this is going to go well? I think we might get arrested or blown up. Stop saying that word. All right, all right, we're, we get the point. that They're not going to blow up like that. Stop, oh, you're going to waste oh, them. They'll blow up. No, they won't, dude. Dude, we got gunpowder in there, fucking wicks. You're insane. All right, that's good. This is good. If if I can't get, it, oh my god, I can't get it. Go go go! Oh, I told you, asshole, it wouldn't work. Didn't I tell you it wasn't gonna work? Yeah. You got another one? I'm pissed. You wasted all of them. That just explodes in his hand. Boom! <laughs> you fucked me, dude. Cut it open. No, because then we can't blow up the bottle. <laughs> now I know why they called you Hamburglue. Hold on. <laughs> Grab the camera. <laughs> Go ahead, light it. <laughs> You're oh, in it. What the fuck? <laughs> we don't know how to do this shit. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> This is a horrible idea. So, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. We got a lot done today. Everything's organized up there. We got the back. I need to actually go to Ikea tomorrow. And now that I just remembered, I need to measure this out before I leave so I can get a desk for Mike. We 
put the coilovers in the skyline. We put the um grip royal in. Yeah, I know it's kind of dumb. And to that, tonight I found out that I got a four door drifter, dude. Drift taxi. How how did it go, Marcus? Fucking sick. I yeah, guess we're gonna have to. About my car. <laughs> what? Just about my we just gotta weld the diff. No, I, just gotta get I guess there's gonna be a um, skyline drifting video soon because that thing slays. I kind of wanna, considering everything's being replaced, I kind of wanna weld the diff on it just because it's gonna be temporary and I kind of just want an automatic like daily drifter. So I guess we'll find out. A couple people wanted me to straight pipe it, and like I said, a bunch of stuff is getting changed. So I might even straight pipe it just to hear what it sounds like. Yeah, I know I'm a skyline racer. Blah blah blah. Hate on me. Who cares? See you in the next one.